Hey guys, Vlad Kulikov here. My friend Jamie is gonna help me out today. Uh, recently, I, I watched a video on uh, Splatle actually, and uh, people call it all different ways. People call it electric chair, banana split, etc., etc. So today, what I would like to do, I would like to show different variation of splitting submissions, uh, explain a couple setups and uh, differences. Uh, it's gonna be fairly comprehensive, by no mean it's the end of the line, but uh, I'm gonna cover plenty. Uh, note, Jamie here is extremely flexible, all right, uh, but he's a good rookie, so I chose him to demonstrate the moves. However, uh, flexibility, of course, comes to play when you are tagged with those stretching submissions, the banana split and such. So, uh, let's start with the banana split. Banana split, uh, on your force, Jamie, on your force. Uh, let's get around like this. Banana split is often uh, many ways to set it up. The basic one is uh, when your partner is on his force and when I force this leg, right? If I, if I look where his butt is looking, I'm gonna force this leg, right? I'm gonna force it and get to perpendicular position. Note how I'm uh, on uh, Jamie's low back like this. Because uh, some people think they can get to this position from half guard. So they're from half guard, maybe they bypass the arm. But if I sit on my butt, there's nothing stopping Jamie getting to my back and choking me out. And trust me, I got caught doing exactly that. So uh, 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 take my bitter experience into consideration and learn from my mistakes. Don't make, make your own mistakes, right? So don't be like this, be like this. Once I'm here, uh, I usually try to collect both legs just like such. And uh, if he uh, does not react, if he does nothing, I'm gonna push with this leg, with my support leg, like I'm jumping back in the pool. Oh, break him down like this, and get to this position. Once I'm here, I try to catch the leg this way with the toes. This is fine too, but if I could catch it this way, it's the best. And my free leg, not the one that leg right, free leg is gonna go here. And now I have two opposable movements. I'm pulling, watch this. I'm not pulling at, uh, close to his crotch, right? It's like opening the door by the hinges. Open the door by the handle here, and I reinforce with a little side kick, and I'm doing my banana split, and hopefully he does. All right. Uh, sometimes, especially in sambo, once I'm here, in sambo, leg lock defense is uh, done by standing up. So sometimes he starts coming up, and as soon as he comes up, I'm going to roll through this way. All right. So I either fall back if he's uh, top heavy, or I roll towards his butt if he becomes uh, top uh, top light. And finishing it here. All right, so this is the leg we laced for banana split. Another banana split, Rechak na dva or Astyashka, is from Jamie being on his back. And now, uh, uh, the reason I like this one, it can go into a, a passing right over the back. So I, I wanna end up in a predicament when I'm loading one leg here, controlling this one, not to get triangle, and I'm stepping and dropping my knee on the floor. Very important, don't have your legs suspended because you can stop it and go back to conventional guard. So once I'm in this position, I'm here. And watch guys, Jamie, let's spin towards the strength a little bit. Yeah. Uh, at this position, what I wanna do, I wanna collect on the hook on this side and head on this side, just like this. Okay, and now what I do as I bow, I kick my free leg out. All right, again, Jamie is super flexible. He did ballet and yoga all his life. <laughs> Normal people tap, and if they do not tap, oh, I can pass to, uh, to guard. Okay, so that's another Rastyashka, another banana split. Now let's go into Splaydle, which looks similar. And uh, uh, both the moves I showed first, uh, in Sambo they're usually done to tap somebody, and also the first move could be used in wrestling, but it's as a pin, right? You get somebody uh, back exposure. So uh, Splaydle looks very similar, that's what people get confused, but it's slightly different. Uh, what differs is which leg I lace. And in Scholastic and Freestyle it's often used to pin. So uh, Jamie, would you get up this? So let's imagine Jenny was on a single leg. He was on a single leg like this, I stuff in, and now watch, the original leg that's laced is not this one, it's this one. Sometimes I'll break one just like this. And what I do guys, I slide on his upper body. I don't slide on his uh, lower body or lower back, he can lift me up. I go here, and as I collect the leg, I wanna roll over the shoulder. Oh, just like this. And that's my splay -off. All right, and you see, the thing with splay look, and watch guys, super important that Jamie's neck or back rest on my stomach. If I kind of missed it, he's gonna spin out of the position. So make sure by the time we land it, he, his head at least rests on me. So the thing with this, range of motion is exhausted. So it's a good controlling device, 
but not the best one to pin. And sometimes what I can do to make it a little bit harder, I'll swim right here and uh, I can throw my second leg this way. Look at this guy, he's so, super flexible, but there's no escape in the position. So that's just playable. It starts with this leg being laced, not that leg. That's the major difference. One more time. Jamie attacked me. Stop his head. Great one leg, slide your nose, hold his head. And look, let's get this one. I'm throwing this arm in. Guys, not like this. Knuckles in, right? Not against the strength, with the strength. Here, oh, roll over. That's my splayo. Like I said, I can throw second leg. And I can do this. Now, electric chair. Electric chair, you also split somebody's legs, but what you attack is not groin, like in all these cases. You're gonna attack the hip joint and the knee joint. So although it looks identical, it's a completely different feeling. And again, if you have healthy, flexible uh, 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 joints, you can withstand this pressure and not tap, but this game afterwards. Um, and it also uh, length reliant. So in other words, if my partner is shorter than me, I will have much easier time tapping him due to length of the lever versus him tapping me. So the longer you are, the shorter it is, the better you play to the game. All right, guys, so uh, uh, set up, Eddie Bravo's set up, we'll do it from half guard, all right? So uh, we lace this leg, cross over, we went to so-called uh, lockdown, all right, guys? And uh, what I want to do, I want to shoot my bottom arm that's supporting right here and clear this one with collect my grip and slowly shimmy my weight. And uh, look how my elbow is underneath his uh, belly, so to speak. I want to create a perpendicular position. So sometimes uh, his defense, he should be grabbing my head and staying parallel. So I want to clear to this position right here. So I got my lock down and tap and Jamie and I perpendicular. So what I want to do, collect either uh, a gable or a slot or like this, it doesn't matter which one, matter of preference, as long as this, this thumb is down, because people sometimes grab like this. You never pull towards you with your thing, always like this. And common big troubleshooting come up on your elbow. So I collected my hands, I came up on my elbow, and watch guys, I do two things at the same time. I extend the lock down, which he's comfortable, and then I twist. There we go. Again, like if I was a little bit shorter, he probably will uh, tolerate, okay? If I was on my side like this trying to twist, my range of motion is non-existent. I can only kick, but I cannot drop. There is no drop and twist on this leg, so that's very easy. So come up on the elbow, and then do your electric chair. <laughs> Thank you. All right, any problem does yet another submission called crotch ripper. Uh, so we have uh, two banana splits, spladle, electric chair, and that crotch ripper which I did not quite uh, figure out how to do myself, uh, but that yet is another angle on those banana splits, on the spl uh, uh, split submissions. So I hope you understand how they work, why they work, and why they're different, and uh, try them out. Thank you very much.